Okay, first of all, um, welcome to Rogue Elf 2. This is our second annual uh, charity big game. The money, part, uh, the money that is raised here goes towards family and children's services. There's several, um, obviously, more so in this economy. There's lots of local families around that 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 don't have the funds to to make to be able to buy Christmas presents. There's two local sponsors as well. We've teamed up with Offspring Baby, a baby store in, in downtown Cambridge, Preston, and Toy Tales Educational, the toy store in the Cambridge Mall. And they, both of those retail stores, give us 40% off retail. So the money that, whatever money we raise here, is multiplied by 40%. So we, we do okay when it comes down to what we end up um, getting as far as gifts. So last year. We, re we ended up being able to buy just around $1,500 retail worth of toys, which was, which was pretty good. So that's where we are. So next year, again, we have one of these scheduled. Um, I know everyone's um, being bombarded lately for, uh, for donations, but if anyone wants to buy a Tree of Hope, these go in our store. So we sort of have a competition with some of our others, with the, the indoor as well. So the, anything today will go to the outdoor. These are two bucks. You can get a tree, write your name on it, and we'll put them up at the at the Cambridge store. Um, any, some of you guys I noticed are still um, running CO2. That's um, very 19, uh, early 80s, uh, still 90s, moving into the early 2000s. A little Alf has told me that we're going to have HPA tanks. Uh, pure energy HPA tanks, 48.3s on it, a super good Boxing Day special at either location. Uh, that'll be a fantastic price. The price just dropped from $99 to $79, so they're going to be substantially reduced on Boxing Day, so save up your um, present, your, money, your Christmas money and come, in, and come and get into the new millennium and get yourself into high pressure air. Perfect. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's Tom Tomcat Cunningham with the Cat Shack Reports. We are on location at the Flag Raiders Field for the Rogue Elf Toys for Tots charity game. With me happens to be one of these really big fans for the Cat Shack Reports. You see him popping up on the Facebook all the time. That, of course, would be Mr. Darren. Of course, yeah, you are from where? Uh, Camp X, Bowmanville. Camp X, Bowmanville. How far away is that? Uh, hour and a half. Hour and a least. half. That's what I really like about scenario games. People come from great distances to attend games like this, and it's uh, always good to meet new people. And it certainly is very good to meet you, finally. Uh, how do you think the game's been going so far today? Uh, the morning was rough, and then uh, we turned the tides, got air striked, had to move back. Now it's uh, our team keeps going in very late, so get hammered quite easily. Now you're with the, uh, what would be more or less the good guy side. Yep. So the good guys aren't faring well right now. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. 
Well, we will uh, stay tuned and see how this uh, pans out. It's a pretty interesting game so far. Uh, uh, what do you think of the Flag Raiders field? This is uh, the first time you've been here. Yep, yeah, first time. I like the field. Uh, a lot of objects up and down, a lot of trenches. So it's uh, you can't hold an area too long. There's a lot of ways to move up. Awesome. Mr. LeCourcier, thank you for taking a few moments with the Cat Shack Reports. No this is Tom Tomcat Cunningham with the Cat Shack Reports with one of my big fans here. Me. Hey everybody, it's Tom Tomcat Cunningham with the Cat Shack Reports and we are still here on location at Operation Rogue Elf at Flag Raiders in Kitchener, Ontario. With me is owner of the field, Joe Kimson. How do you do? And we've got Tank, team captain of the Task Force Raiders. How you doing? Tank, how has this game gone today? It's been a seesaw battle back and forth. Uh, red team had uh, showed early dominance. Green team around lunchtime took a whole bunch of field back. And from then, it's been a, a seesaw battle as participants come in and out of the pits. Uh, all in all, it's been a good day. Awesome. Now, Joe, just out of curiosity, uh, we had the, this is an annual event. This is our second annual uh, charity game, Operation Rogue Elf. So money uh, raised goes towards family and children's services of uh, KW, Kitchener Waterloo, Cambridge area. Uh, basically, almost like a Toys for Tots program. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, you did this in cooperation with who? Uh, family Children's Services, and we've partnered with uh, a local uh, toy store in, in the Cambridge Centre, Toy Tales Educational, and Offspring Baby, which is a baby store in Cambridge. It has a lot of uh, uh, infant and kids' toys, and we've also, obviously, our, our uh, corporate sponsors, our Tipman and Key, Key Action Sports as well, have all helped contribute to make the day a success. Okay, awesome. So now, this being a second annual event, uh, Last year, I understand there was what 50 people out. There was 50 plus. We did it a couple weeks uh, later as well. It was in December, and we had some more traditional winter weather. We we decided this year we would, we would move it a little closer to the end of the end of the traditional payfall season. So we, we backed it up to the end of November. Weather's great. Started off with a sunny day. Got a little overcast. Uh, we hit just just under 100 people, which is pretty fantastic for this time of year so I think all in all everyone's had a pretty good time everyone's smiling there's not a whole lot of complaining or, or hasn't been any bickering so I think the day has been a pretty good success and everyone enjoyed the traditional all you can eat flag raider franks as well <laughs> So for a second annual event, you'd have to call this one a success. We've got like easily twice the numbers out, uh, more than likely twice the amount raised for a great charity. This is uh, Tom Tom Cat Cunningham with the Cat Shack Reports, and we are here at Flag Raiders with some very good people that have done some very good things for paintball today. Thanks, fellas. Thanks a lot. See you guys again. Thank you. Peace.